Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? What's happening? Peace, peace, peace. What's going on, community? Um, so yeah, as we always do, um, we're gonna give people a couple minutes or whatever, a couple seconds to get up in here. Uh, in the meantime, I want to say um, welcome back. Hopefully, everybody had a very uh, you know positive and um, productive holiday weekend or holiday uh, you know vacation. Um, you know, hopefully you guys used it to, to, to get some quality time uh, with your family, some time to relax, or whatever the case may be, just a couple of days away from sports. Uh, you know, hopefully you guys took advantage of it. Um, I know for me, myself, uh, uh, I definitely um, decided to, to spend some quality time with my loved ones, uh, you know, take the last two days off. And you know, kick my feet up, relax, and, 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 you know, take some time to myself to reflect. So hopefully you guys did that or some variation of that, but I want to say welcome, welcome back. Uh, peace and love to the entire community. New members and old, uh, returning, sharks, veterans, whatever the case may be, uh, salute and uh, peace to all of y'all. Thank you for stopping by. Today's video, I'm very humbled to announce uh, and I'm very, very excited to announce um, and say uh, big salutes to the entire community on another, uh, you know, super profitable day, perfect day, a flawless day for us in, you know, in decoding these scripted sports games. Um, you know, we're off to a remarkable start, uh, not only for the month, uh, but as well as the year, but the MLB season. Um to add, you know, to add on top of that. Kicking off this MLB season exactly like we finished off last year, very, very profitable. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to say peace and love and, and cheers to my entire community on, a, you know, another amazing night. Um, on days like today, um, I think like my experience uh, is really what, what sets myself apart, uh, you know, from anybody. And it's really, really the difference maker uh, <clears throat> when it comes to decoding these games and and determining uh, which games to attack, right? And I think today kind of highlights, you know, my specific expertise um, when it comes to that, right? But there was a bunch of things going on today. Uh, 16 Major League Baseball games, three NBA playoff games. Uh, so, you know, there was a, obviously a lot on the slate. Um, and we were able to narrow it down to two specific games to attack, uh, you know, which is a task within itself. But two perfect games to attack, uh, both with great lines, right? Zero high money line prices. Uh, we don't ever recommend uh, above a certain threshold, which is minus 165. Uh, we don't need to attack games of minus 200, minus 220, minus 300 money line favorites. Uh, we don't need to do that. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a bullshit, uh, bullshit strategy. And uh, that's not something that we do. We actually really decode, which I know is kind of, you know, like a shock to, to some people. Uh, but yeah, we don't need to recommend these, these ridiculously high money line games. And, um, you know, today was another perfect example. But uh, besides that, today was another great um, example of Gematria, right, which is what we use, which is the system we use to prove on a very, very consistent basis how these games continue to be scripted, right? And that's the most important thing. And, um, you know, because today was such a great day, uh, you know, it's we actually are continuing like this magical run that we're currently on, right? Uh, we started off you know, at the tail end of the NFL season, leading into the NBA season, and now crossing over into the MLB, se MLB season, three different sports, right? As well as there's some uh, inclusion of NHL games in there as well. Not as much, but, you know, a handful of NHL games. But, um, you know, our good fortune continues in this remarkable streak that we're on with great returns, not only for myself, uh, but for the community, right? 
the community is the most important part of it. And, um, you know, they are the people that are really, really benefiting from, uh, you know, my content, my decodes, and, you know, the work that I publish, on, um, you know, on a daily basis. So that's something to be a uh, highlight. But I'm really super excited about, um, you know, my community's development. I, you know, obviously I've been here from the beginning. So, you know, I'm able to tell uh, rather quicker than anybody else. Uh, but, you know, uh, what we have all done recently, right, is really, really insane. And, you know, we've all been along for this ride during the, you know, this, this remarkable and magical run that we're currently on with an insane win rate, uh, an insane win rate, just crazy uh, win streaks, right? Uh, but my community has been along on this journey with me. And what we've done uh, with the, with uh, not only the work, the decodes, the wins, the streaks, the win percentage, we've really cemented, you know, a place not only in the sports gematria community, right? We've already done that. But really in the sports handicapping world, that's really the most exciting part um, it is really how we, we, we basically just put our stamp on that. And, um, you know, we let them know how serious we are, how elevated we are, and that there's definitely levels uh, to, to decode in these games. Uh, but, you know, it's it's humbling for me to be able to do that independently and as an individual, but to, just to know that my community has taken part in it and, and, and been along for the ride just really, really makes it that much more meaningful, right? Because the impact is so much greater beyond just myself, the individual. It's it's multiplied times, you know, many, 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 many times over. And therefore the impact becomes so much more greater. And that's what that's the real reason I'm I'm here is for that big impact. Right. So um I definitely wanted to start this video out by saying that because usually obviously what I've been able to do is very, very impressive. It's really uh you know it, <laughs> uh unbelievable in some in some cases, but um you know, I really, really wanted to highlight the community's participation, uh, you know, throughout this journey as well, because uh, that is, 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 is just as important. So I want to say cheers and salute and congratulations to my community, not only on uh, what we've been able to do, the records we've broken, you know, just our stamp on sports handicapping in general, um, but just the the, the impact that we've been able to make on, on, on people's lives as, as a whole and um, just as well as the development and growth of the community has it's just been so um, breathtaking really to just uh, to just see. So salute to you guys, man. You guys really deserve it. So on that note, um, what I do want to say is obviously you guys are here. We're going to get into the, what we decided to do today. We're going to summarize it out of respect, uh, you know, for the exclusivity of the people that actually pay for the content, right? We're always going to summarize it. But again, man, you know, the, the current streak we're on, uh, we're, we're actually 54 and 8 in our last 62 picks, zero high money line prices, multiple underdogs, several underdogs, over an 88% win rate going on about, you know, four to five months now. Uh, it's really, really... Um, something something to speak about something that needs to continue to get out there um as well as to being promoted and, and and people need to see what's going on so um we'll get into today and how scripted these rituals actually were and um you know not only that but we did we, we attacked some of the best lines that were that were going on today right really really great lines great returns um yeah man now let's get into it but if you in here Please, please, please click that like button. Once the video goes up, share the video, repost the video, um, tell a friend to tell a friend, but definitely come back and leave a, a comment, right? Because uh, one thing that, that it does help, obviously, when you click the like button, but when you leave a comment, it also helps us get in the algorithm as well. Even though we know we are being censored, um, you know, the comments and the likes do help to get the work out there. So. That is free. You don't have to pay for that, but I really, really appreciate it. And also remember to click that notification bell and turn it on 
so that you're definitely notified once I go live. All right. Not a lot of people are getting notifications. And um, yeah, man, we have to just find our ways around the specific censorship that we're getting. But, um, you know, it's all good. Obviously, when you're doing some of the things that we're doing, uh, you know, they're going to try to throw a monkey wrench in our program. Uh, there's going to be a lot of haters, a lot of bull, a lot of trolls, a lot of degenerates and, you know, somewhat some negativity coming from brain brainless idiots. Um, you know, but we're going to supersede that uh, and uh, just highlight the positivity and what exactly we've been able to do, uh, you know, over this, uh, you know, huge sample size of, uh, you know, going on three years now. So but let's get into today's decode. So um, the first one is actually really, really, uh, it was really, really easy right on the surface. Um, and, and, it, and it was a great line to attack, right? But here's the thing. So um, for, for about three to four months now, I've been doing consultations, right? So what that does is it allows me, um, you know, to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, FaceTime or call with the individual where we go over certain strategies, um, you know, certain things, that, uh, observations and perspectives we might be seeing on that specific slate or schedule, and then kind of see uh, how we can uh, best attack uh, these games, right? So, uh, but usually it's more about strategy, right? And in some cases, um, you know, people do bounce their ideas off of me and, and stuff like that. Uh, but today specifically, what I decided to do, because we want to encourage and promote these consultations, because what I'm doing with them, besides, uh, you know, communicating with, with my members one on one, I'm actually learning and meeting people for the first time. Right. It's not gonna just being a screen name or a person behind the name, uh, like, you know, behind the computer. I'm actually meeting people and conversating, and communicating. And that's really the most important thing. So. Um, what I decided to do today was give out an additional play for everybody who decided to book a consultation. And um, that additional play today, right, because usually, uh, you know, around 80 to 90 percent of the time, I recommend one pick. Right. Uh, but today I decided to, you know, reward the people who booked a consultation with me uh, an additional play. And that play was the Boston Red Sox money line to defeat the Toronto Blue Jays. And Boston was around a minus 130, minus 140 money line favorite. Uh, so it still fell well within our range of games to attack. And I'll tell you exactly what I liked about that game. And, um, you know, we'll get into it because I know you guys love the summaries and stuff like that. So let's talk about it. Um, hold on real quick. Shoot. Yeah, we'll flip it around. Okay, so as you guys can see, we were correct. The Boston Red Sox defeated the Toronto Blue Jays with a great money line price of minus 130, minus 140. Um, and it really was all about one number, right? So when I speak about these games, I want to highlight one number to make it really, really simple for people to understand the newcomers and people who are not familiar with exactly what we do. But let's talk about it. Okay, so the Toronto Blue Jays uh, with a loss today became six and five on the season. Boston Red Sox with a win today became six and five on the season, like 65. Today just happened to be a 65 date numerology. Now the way in which you get a date numerology is you add the month plus the day plus the year. So you get four plus 19 is 23 plus 20 is 43. Then plus 22 is 65. So we had a top numerology, a top date numerology of 65 when both teams became six and five on the season, like the number 65. Okay. And then the starting pitcher um, for the Boston Red Sox was Nathan Avaldi. Okay. Now Nathan Avaldi came into today's game on 65 losses. And he remained on 65 losses while both teams became six and five on a 65 date numerology, right? So just speaking about one number, how it came full circle and why this specific pitcher was pitching to today because he remained on the number which was most important, which was 65, okay? 
65. Now taking it even one step further, besides obviously what's on the surface, I, um, you know, six and five is, a, you know, six plus five is 11. So it was both teams 11th game of the season, right? 11 is the fifth prime number, right? So we are constantly speaking about numbers and their relationships. 11 being the fifth prime number, it was Toronto Blue Jays' fifth away game, Boston Red Sox' fifth home game, and the Toronto Blue Jays picked up their fifth loss of the season while Boston remained on five losses for the season. So you see how it comes full circle? The 65, and then obviously we did, we just attached another number to it, which would be that 11. But the reason why, you know, um, the 11 is actually really important, obviously, it's um it's a really important uh, number in numerology. It's a master number, so um, that's the reason why I brought it up. But but more importantly, the number was sixty five. But we just took it a step further with that number eleven, just to bring it real full circle. So hopefully you guys are understanding me. You're following me exactly what I'm saying, and um, you know that's the that's the reason this game was pretty clear cut to me. And again, it was another um it was another uh solid solid price for us to attack right so that was the additional play that that obviously everybody who booked the consultation with me today was rewarded with right but let's take it to the main play the main pick of the day which was obviously you know you guys can see it in the picture uh that we highlighted for this video the st louis cardinals to defeat the miami marlins today now the great thing about this was the St. Louis Cardinals, when we put this game out, they were a slight underdog at plus 105. So it was an underdog. Um, by a little bit closer to game time, they, they, they ended up becoming like a minus 105 favorite. But still, an amazing price, okay? Incredible price. So uh, about an even line or slightly underdog plus 105. So, but what we loved about the St. Louis Cardinals today, right, was, was, was really um, – was two numbers. We're going to keep it to two numbers, really, really simple, really basic. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. So the St. Louis Cardinals today uh, with this defeat, which is exactly what we predict, I mean, with this victory, which is exactly what we predicted, this was the pick of the day, the St. Louis Cardinals to defeat the Miami Marlins. And by the way, the best line of the day. Um, St. Louis Cardinals to defeat Miami. St. Louis became three and two away, right? In their away record. And the Miami Marlins with the loss became three and two at home in their home record, right? Now that number 32 is a very, very important number to the Miami Marlins because obviously Marlins, I'm sorry. Marlins equals 32 in the purest cipher, right? So for those of you not familiar with what this is, this is a Gematria calculator. And this is basically um, a calculator that adds a, new, a number value to letters and words. So Marlins, as you guys can see, equals 32 in the purest cipher, the most important cipher, which was, uh, you know, why it made grit, it made uh, perfect sense for the Cardinals to become three and two away, and Miami to become three and two at home, because of the, how important this number is to the Miami Marlins, and then also understanding. Numbers in their relationships, Miami Marlins, the team's total name, equals 131 in the English ordinal, and 131 is the 32nd prime number. So they have a double connection to the number 32, right? And this game also be, was being played on Tuesday, and we all know Tuesday equals 32 in single reduction. So these are the things that we loved on the surface. Um about these games. Obviously, the decode was way more complex, way more in depth, but we're just summarizing and talking about the most important numbers so you guys are just able to grasp, you know, um just basically the and get a general sense of what it is I do uh when I decode these games, how we we come to these conclusions, what patterns we're specifically seeing um and isolating, right? Very very important. And then to take it even a step further um and being that obviously Miami is a uh, um, Miami and the Cardinals, 
they have uh, obviously a history, but Miami was sitting on 81 uh, wins in this specific series, Miami and the St. Louis Cardinals. They stayed on 81 wins um, in the series, which is important because we understand that um, Cardinals equals 81, right? And then going back to what we were saying about understanding numbers and their relationships, today was 419, right? Like the number 419, and 419 is the 81st prime number. So we loved the Miami Marlins to stay on 81 wins in the series when the Cardinals equals 81. And today is 419, like 419, the 81st prime number. So we put all that together to say, you know what? Today's going to be a perfect day in MLV. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. So the Boston Red Sox led us to victory with a great money line, as well as the St. Louis Cardinals uh, finished the night off for my entire community for another flawless day, another perfect day, and a day in which um, you know multiple people were able to parlay additional picks. Now, I don't really like to talk about these high money lines games because it's really, really pointless. But obviously, one of the most key obvious observations and key you know key observations that were on the board today besides um what we already stated was obviously the 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 the, the New York Yankees right to defeat the Detroit Tigers one of the easiest games to see um you know the New York Yankees became 6 and 5 like uh the number 65 today being a 65 date numerology obviously and then New York Yankees equals 65 in full reduction, right? So this was like really, really easy. Um, but the only thing about it, and I don't really like to brag about it or even bring it up, is because the you know the Yankees were minus 210 money line favorites. So this is nothing to brag about. This would never even be a pick that I recommend. But obviously, I just made people aware of it as an observation, and other and people were able to take advantage of it and throw it in, you know, like a parlay scenario or pair it up with additional picks. So that's the only reason I bring it up, but also speaking about one of the numbers that we highlighted, which was the number 65, right? And, I, and the Yankees became six and five on the season. As you guys can see, they did, defeated the Detroit Tigers, six and five on the season, and you know, so on and so forth. So um, you know, a bunch of people were able to go three and zero today, but mainly, um, you know, I don't even count the, count this pick uh, in the streak. Because it, we've never done that, we we don't need to count high money line favorites as uh, as picks. Um, that's not something that we've ever done, and it's not something that we will ever do. But yeah, um, just mainly focusing on on the games we decided to attack today: the St. Louis Cardinals to defeat the Miami Marlins winner, and the Boston Red Sox to defeat the Toronto Blue Jays uh, winner. So that's what's really really important, and. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm aware of a bunch of people that, you know, su supremely benefited because of those games today. So let's see. Um, let's see what's going on. Obviously, every single time um, that I do these live streams, I'll, I like to tap in uh, with the with the uh, with the chat as well. So Monte says, Mr. Futures, these observations are amazing. I saw the 83 at the Rockies and took the Yankees also. Great work so far. Obviously, so, yeah, so he's talking about the Yankees too as well. And, you know, salute to you, Lamonte. I hope you had a – well, obviously, it sounds like you had a great night. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, take it a step further. Khalif Williams, bag to the bag, 100%. Shout out to you, brother. Uh, always appreciate you stopping by and showing us love. I already know. Um Corey Bullock says, much love from OKC. Salute to you, man. I don't know if you, you're in Oklahoma City uh, with Zach and everybody, but I want to say cheers and salute to everybody that made the trek to OKC to support Zach um, on the protest that was going on today, April 19th. Uh, I was able to follow some live streams going on early throughout the day. And, you know, I was very, very, um, you know, hype and excited about the turnout uh, that was, that you know, that Zach received. Um, and, you know, all the protests and the work that you guys were doing on the ground, very, very inspiring. And, um, you know, I want to say, again, salute to Zach, man. Uh, he's putting some amazing things together when it comes to actually putting boots on the ground and 
getting this knowledge out there so more people have the opportunity to wake up. You know, it's very, very frustrating um, because even though in spite of us putting this content and this workout on YouTube, it still gets censored, you know, um, on a large scale. And, you know, it's not able to go to get across to as many people as we would like. So these on the, you know, these these bootstrap, um, <laughs> you know, on the ground uh, protests and efforts are really, really important because we're able to touch the people and communicate directly to the people. And, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, one day at a time, one person at a time, man. So, yeah, salute to you, Corey. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're out there, but if you are, salute. Uh, Edward says hello from Vancouver. Uh, cheers, buddy. brother. I know you had a good night, so I appreciate you. Pete Perez, thank you for always stopping by and showing us love. Uh, let's effing go, Edward Peck says. Um, let's see. My boy, Mr. Mabar says, put some respect on Vic's name and spam that like button. Appreciate the knowledge, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, best investment on the planet. Thank you. Salute to you, sir. d says, Victor, and throws up the GOAT logo. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> okay. Nicholas, uh, if you're looking for my link, it will be in the, the, the video's description. All you got to do is click the box, and there will be a link in there. So cheers. Uh, let's see. Uh, Terrence Alfred says, you are the truth. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. I uh, appreciate that. All the observation plays hit also. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> he says, I'm a believer. <laughs> thank you, Matt. I appreciate that feedback and positivity. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And Robert Cantu says, four to one parlay. Yeah, man. Um, you know, these are these are these are people that are directly taking advantage of it. This is the community really, really speaking out and I love to highlight these things because it sounds redundant when I repeat it. And, you know, we're never on here begging people to join or whatever the case may, you know, we don't need to do that. Right. I, uh, because of the fact that we've been able to have the success we've had, I appreciate um, the way in which I'd be able to, I've been able to keep my platform exclusive to the members that I want to join. Right. We get the trolls out of there. We get the degenerates out of there. The people that have no self-control, the people that message me 20 to 30 times a day when I decide not to attack uh, and take the, take a day off because the riddles aren't good in my opinion. And, you know, these degenerates, these, we get them out of here, man. We get them out of here. Uh, so again, it's blocking season all year long and I have zero tolerance for disrespect, negativity, or just troll behavior. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's a bunch of communities out there that invite and, and appreciate that type of stuff. You know, you don't need to to uh, to be over here. There's all so many other communities where you could uh, join up and misery loves company, and you guys could all celebrate your losses and your um your negative uh, bank balances and all that. There's a bunch of other communities that really highlight and promote that type of stuff. We don't do that over here. We actually preach positivity and productivity. Uh, ROI, profit, bankroll management, and all the things that will help you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And as we always do, we always like to highlight, you know, some of the community's feedback. And um, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Hold on. Let me just see this. Give me one second, guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. And let's get it. Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, so let's let's just let's just see what's going on with the community, right? Because obviously those are the people that matters most. So let's see what's going on. Let's let's tap in with them. And let's see what's going on. See? Okay. Yep. And let's post. Okay. Now, for those of you not familiar, in my you know, on my YouTube uh, channel, 
And if you're already not a member, uh, shame on you, man, because it's actually free to, to subscribe to my channel. There's a bunch of content available on here for free. I don't need to be making these videos. I don't need to be doing uh, what I'm doing, but I choose to uh, because I, I want to get the work out there and I want people to be able to, to learn, even if it is on a general level, uh, you know, what we're doing, right? So if you go over to the community section on my channel, you will see constant feedback from the community, right? It's not me saying anything. It is my community sharing their feedback on their experiences. And as I said, um, it's very, very important to highlight that they've been a part of this entire journey, right? So this gentleman says, Victor sifting through the numbers and beating all the Vegas sports, book, sports books. Cheers to you. And cheers right back, sir. Congratulations. I know you had a great night. So salute. Victor's decodes be like Biff with the sports almanac. Those trolls going to be stuttering like Biden tonight. Peace and salute. Exactly. It's to the point where, you know, the trolls and the haters, they don't really have anything to say anymore. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we've done. We've continued to let the work speak for itself. And I've worked extremely hard to stay consistent and put solid decodes together with solid strategies and, 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 and tactics and disciplines. Uh, which make us very, very unique from any other community, platform, whatever you want to call it, right? He says, let's go, bro. Red Sox and Cardinals brought me back 3.8 to 1 returns. Thank you. A consultation was well worth it. Salute to you, brother. Thank you. And it actually was a pleasure speaking to you. I know exactly who this individual is. Uh, so cheers and thank you. And then obviously you can see I'm constantly getting tickets of people. This gentleman decided that the Washington Nationals, the St. Louis Cardinals, and the New York Yankees, right, decided to attack these games. And you put a three-leg parlay together, obviously. And he says another one and added me on Instagram. And, and again, my Instagram is always posted in the video section of – in the description section of every video. A lot of people are reaching out and booking consultations, and IG is the best way in which to do that. I've been doing consultations going on four or five months now, and that a lot of people are benefiting from them. So, you know, you might want to tap in. Instagram is the best way to reach me. Get on over there. Uh, we're trying to get that situation, that those numbers up as well. You know, I think we're, we're like 200 uh, followers away from 1K. You know, everybody get on over there and get me up to 1K, 1K followers. Come on. And then this gentleman hit me up directly on on. Uh, IG earlier, to, obviously, he asked me if I was dropping a pick. He was headed to work. He was going to try and place the bet before he clocked in. And then he sent me back uh, the cards with the money bag. And I just, you know, and I let him know, cheers and congratulations, sir. Right? So as you guys can see, this is feedback directly from the community speaking for itself, highlighted by another great night, another perfect night. Boom. Okay? And these are the type of nights we enjoy having. These are the type of nights, um, you know, that have become very, very regular. And again, we make it look very, very easy, but it is not easy to do what we do, we've been able to do. It's very, very difficult. And along the way, you are going to take a loss every now and then, right? So you have to build and and and, and put yourself in a position to sus to sustain a loss every now and then, right? We're not one hundred percent perfect for the for the entire you know for the for my whole life. It's not it's not going to happen. Right. But, um, you know, we are in the, the highest consistent consistency and win rate, you know, that I'm, I'm, I've been aware of, you know what I'm saying, uh, in the history of sports handicapping. So, you know, that speaks for itself. But it is very, very difficult. And I put a lot of work in not only, uh, you know, that people are aware of, but definitely behind the scenes as well. So I appreciate everybody who supports me genuinely. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, you know, on that note, I'm going to get up out of here, but I want to say uh, before we get up out of here, thank you for everybody who's continued to support me, especially my day ones, my veterans and my sharks, uh, my new members and my old, just everybody uh, uh, and all the new, the, the potential new members that we're going to be receiving in the future, right? Uh, 
it is important to highlight our accomplishments, our records, and things we've been able to do. But we're also very, very excited about what the future holds. Okay. So um, on that note, I'm, I'm actually humbled to be able to bring this video to you guys. And, um, you know, excited about, <laughs> you know, what we have moving forward. And I have a lot of uh, big announcements that are going to be coming really, really soon. So please, please stay tuned. And again, if you want to uh, get into what we're doing, go on over to the, you know, to, to, to Patreon, become a member, uh, become a, uh, uh, a member of a great community of like-minded people, people, who, uh, you know, with unique perspectives, people who challenge each other respectfully. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's, it's growing, it's developing and it, it's, uh, it's really, really, um, exciting. So on that note, as we love to say on this channel, Dramatria at its finest, um, easy as one, two, three, right? Uh, keep supporting those people who genuinely support you and, uh, be very cautious about the people you do choose to support. There's a, there's a lot of frauds and a lot of scammers that try to, um, you know, hide behind the Dramatria banner or the decoding banner or cape or whatever the case may be, but not all decoders are created equal, okay? There are a lot of people in this community with ulterior motives and hidden agendas and really, really, you know, <laughs> a huge character flaws. So, um, you know, be very, very cautious of the people that you do choose to support, okay? And on that note, I'm going to say thank you guys for joining me. Please click that like button. And again, once the video goes up, share the video and come back and leave some positive feedback. It is very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, and enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your week. Cheers, salute, congratulations. And I will see you guys next time. I look forward to bringing you guys more exclusive and unique content. And hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Uh, and on that note, I'm out of here. My name is Victor, for those of you not familiar. See you next time.